What is up my fellow Warbirds, aka the War Eagle is back with yet another video. And I'm gonna start off this video with apologizing that if you guys hear any background noises, that is all, little Ollie Joe running around being a little crackhead. He's gotten about 10 weeks old at this point. Such a cute little kitten. Anyway, so in this video, I'm playing the F-104C. It is a replay of a match I hate that I didn't record the footage for it, but I got home from work, was having some me pretty mediocre matches, and right as I was just about to get off and go to bed, I decided to play one more, and yeah, I get this footage, and I completely forgot to record it. So yeah, we're going to watch it as a replay. Now I'm going to admit, it's an ace match. And a lot of people are probably saying, but it's the F-104, of course you're going to get an ace, it's so overpowered. And you know, my opinion still hasn't really so much changed on the F-104. I do admit that it is quite strong at 9.7. I still do not believe, though, that it needs to go to 10.0 and face off against, you know, the Mirages, the MiG-21s, the F-4s. I still don't believe that. Do I believe it does need to go up at BR? Yes, but not yet. Not until we get some serious BR decompression. But at the same time, as you're watching this match, I question whether it's actually the aircraft being overpowered or just players not really paying attention and knowing what to do. You'll see here in a bit, but we're going to get this thing set up. I'm pretty much cruising about Mach 1.14 at this point, and I'm beginning to scan for targets. I see, do see my first target, so I decide to turn to, to begin to engage. He's a bit of a ways off, but of course it's the F-104, it can catch up there pretty quickly. Now, you'll notice throughout this video, I'm constantly scanning and looking around. Holding down that holding down that camera button, whatever you have it bound to, that's one thing I would absolutely say you need to do when playing these top these higher echelon jets. It's constantly just looking around. Now, at this point, I know that there's really nothing behind me. And pretty much I am behind the entire enemy team. Now I get set up on this G91 here, and there's also a Shenyang F5. First off, why are th these guys even climbing? They should be on the deck building up their speed. And on top of that, he never even looked behind him. Same with this Shenyang. And Fox 2. And boom, nice little double kill. They never even looked behind them to see that I was coming. Now, with the new system for the missiles that they have, you'll see a little red box in, if the missile is heading your way, if the engine on the missile is still active. With that said, you should constantly be looking around and whatnot. Because you're not going to get that big red flashing text anymore. And like I said, those guys needed to have been on the deck get, building up their speed. Now, this missile's going to come for me. It's now dead in the water because it's out of energy. And I'm just going to end up outrunning it. So I decide to continue building up speed and eventually I'm going to turn back to engage. The thing about the F-104 is, yes, it's incredibly fast, everyone knows it can't really turn, so I just need to take my time with this. I'm in no rush to be able to try to turn, I just need to outrun everybody and then I can re-engage. Alright, so I see this Venom here, and here you'll see probably one of the main flaws of the F-104 is that its rudder just isn't amazing to be able to get guns on target. Now granted, he was already at a 
pretty steep angle of attack. So he gets away with it. Alright, so going back to the situational awareness thing. Watch this guy. This guy is going to end up being lucky just because I couldn't get guns on target just because of my potato aim. But he should have been dead right here. I do manage to get a hit on his wing. And he breaks off, but he never really even saw me until I started shooting at him. It's going to be the same thing with this guy down here. This enemy is now making a beeline towards his teammate who is currently in a 1v1 dogfight. I'm diving down on him and he's never going to see me coming. Again, situational awareness in this level of jets is key. Never even looked behind him. And he's deleted. Had he looked behind me, he p would have easily been able to just juke away from that. So yeah, that's three targets down so far, and none of them were really paying attention behind them. Now at this point, there's still a pretty good fight going on with the enemy and my team. So I'm going to attempt to re-engage. Alright, so there's the hunter from earlier. Again, kind of a potato aim on my part, but he got lucky that time again. He turned right into me. I easily should have had that if I wasn't being such a potato at that point. But notice how I'm constantly keeping my eye on him after I've engaged him. I want to make sure that he doesn't shoot missiles at me or anything. So anyway, after he turns back around, I turn back to re-engage him. Now he's going to put himself in a stall climb for some reason. And that's going to mark my fourth kill. Now there's only a few enemies left. I want to say about two or three at this point. I think one of my teammates cleans up one of them. Alright, so here's the last guy. He is stall climbing for my teammate. Why is he doing this? And with my last bit of ammo, I get the ace right there. So yeah, in this match I have to ask, is it really the F-104 being overpowered, or was it just that players were not having any situational awareness? I think perhaps the only one that really may have actually been paying attention was that hunter that I ended up killing, but all the others were just non-existent in terms of being able to pay attention. Now at this point I'm going to RTB try to get some more fuel. The last guy is the Venom, but he's going to end up crashing, and we're going to end up winning this match. So yeah, like I said, just based on this footage alone, do you guys think that in this case it was the F-104 being overpowered, or do you think it was the enemy just not having any situational awareness? Again, I do believe that the F-104 right now is overpowered. I don't think it's overpowered to the point where it needs to go up a BR until BR decompression happens. But at the same time, I have to question whether some players, you know, are just not paying attention or anything. Anyway, if you guys like what you saw, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, 
Don't forget that the links to Discord and Patreon are in the description below. And as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed.